Hello again. I was idly browsing the favourites of Barry Williams, MB, one of my subscribers last night. One of them led me to a video called Psychiatry, No Science, No Cures by the Citizens Commission on Human Rights at CCHR Int. See the sidebar. In it, great stress was placed on the fact that there are no biochemical tests for mental illness. However, biochemical tests can only be developed when the underlying biochemistry is known and modern psychiatry is still in the dark ages on this score. The biochemical basis of mental illness was a subject to which I gave great thought over the years. In episode 5 of More Than a Puff of Smoke, I talked about adrenaline and how, since it affected both the mind and the body, I came to see it is a psychosomatic hormone and see psychosomatic symptoms or the physical symptoms of psychological distress as a result of adrenaline intoxication. In episode 15 I observed how in 1963 Avram Goldstein, professor of pharmacology at Stanford, had pointed out that in order for opiates to have a therapeutic effect, there must be receptors for them in the central nervous system. The only possible reason for opiate receptors to exist must be to respond to opiate produced naturally within the body. Then, in the 70s, Hans Kostelitz, one of my old teachers at Aberdeen, isolated naturally occurring opiates. They came to be called endorphins. In my own mind, I assumed that naturally occurring cannabis would also be one day found in the body. Some years later it was, and called anandamide. There are four basic types of psychotropic substance produced naturally within the body. Firstly, there is adrenaline, which causes anxiety and fear whenever an individual feels insecure. Then there are opiates, which produce a feeling of well-being whenever whenever individuals feel safe. Thirdly, there are substances like cannabis which cause dissociation and facilitate the reflection and analysis of circumstances that occurs during daydreaming and meditation. Finally, there are stimulants such as cocaine and amphetamine which cause the release of substances which increase the level of arousal. Then one day in 1980, a penny dropped. Just as the subtle spectrum of colours we can see is composed of light of only three primary colours, so the subtle spectrum of feelings we can feel could be made up of only three primary psychoactive compounds. These would be adrenaline, opiate and cannabis occurring naturally within the body. However, just as the intensity of colours depends on the brightness of the light, so the intensity of emotions depends on the level of arousal. Stimulants that promote the level of arousal relieve depression and lend colour to experience. Perhaps one could postulate a law of psychodynamics.